The Wild West progression update was supposed to be released during July or August. But unfortunately brothers, I am telling you this in October. Yes, it's quite clear to everyone that the progression update was delayed once again. But we may have a clue on the release date. And I also have some exciting news that might shock you. So this is a must watch video for all of you people waiting for the future update. Clearing out the important subject, the release date. I'm going to be transparent and open with you guys in this video. So to clear out any misunderstandings, no, there is no official release date. Everything mentioned is just speculations here. Anyways, the speculation is that recently it was semi-confirmed that there was going to be a Halloween event this year. I made a pretty detailed video explaining it. Watch that after this if you want to. Anyways, in one of the messages, Tyrage said that the progression will be after Halloween. And we do know Halloween starts at the 31st of October. And like last year, the Halloween event could possibly start at 31st of October. And for some delays, it could possibly get delayed to the 7th of November. That's most likely its release time. And the progression is the most certainly not going to release with it. It's going to release after it. The Halloween event is going to end at the 30th of November. And I'm not saying right after it ends, the progression will release. I'm saying that inside December, the progression may release. The developers really don't have to give us a Christmas event. I'm more than happy to accept a progression update in December. So maybe on the day of Christmas, we may see the progression update release. And if not, it is most likely releasing next year, which is extremely disappointing. Now, I believe many of you have seen my past videos going over the progression update, where I cleared out everything new that will be added in the progression update. For the people who have missed it or want a detailed video on it, you're in luck. Firstly, let me go over the weapons. Opening with the Walsh 12 shot revolver, judging by the name, you can understand that it will hold 12 shots and will probably do low damage. Upcoming is the two cult classic shotgun. They'll probably be better versions of the mule and saw off shotguns inside the next update. Connected to that we have the new Mauser revamped and Mauser with barrel. No stats info were given but it will probably make my VIP game pass less of a scam. Following that is a two cap lock pistol. These will be part of the dread pirate game pass and maybe have the feature to dual wield. That will probably make the community excited to buy the game pass. Neighboring it is the Army Nong 2 revolver. It is very hard hitting revolver made for the most skilled duelist. And viewing the preview of the revolver you could understand that it can be fanned and has 6 rounds. With an extremely fast reload speed. It is even faster than the prototype which is mind blowing. Anyways, succeeding it is the level rifle. And similarly to the Army Nong 2 revolver there is a preview of the level rifle with sounds. Looks like a decently made rifle to me. Next is not a gun, rather a bow. It is the most attractive bow inside the game and most probably also the best bow in the game after it is released. Next is the .45 SAA and the Remington model 1875. No info was given on them so I can't tell you much about it. Following it is the melee weapon called Maka Huitel. It is not going to be an auction weapon and, and we will have some uses in the future updates. Succeeding it is the needle fire. It is a one round chamber pistol that will do immense damage if the shot is hit. Following it is the trench shotgun. It is a shotgun that looks amazing and will perform very well. Good hopes on it. Next is the suppressed hammerless revolver for the Hitman game pass. I believe it will be identical in stats like the hammerless but just suppressed. Following it is the Spencer rifle. Looks decent and I hope it will perform decent inside the game. Lastly is a shotgun which looks to me like a pump action shotgun. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's it for the weapons. Comment down what do you guys think of him and let me know which one is your favorite. 
I'm personally curious on which one you guys think the greatest of. Now for some wildlife improvements, snakes are going to be returning to the wild west and maybe the capybara has a chance of joining it. And dogs are coming to the wild west progression update. Tyrage sent a video of it so I assume it they might be coming. Inside the progression update there will be immense map changes and graphical overhaul in textures and models. One of the things that will be changed to a more realistic version is the train. Here is the new train that will be coming to the wild west inside the progression update. And if you focus more, you can see the location where the first video was taken is Callahan Manor. And the general store there is missing. We know it is going to be moved to an open area next to Manor from this screenshot. We also know that there is now going to be a train stop near Puerto Dorado. Possibly a connection of these rail tracks can get us there. Also a quick thing, did you know the next update will add grenades? If not, then you're welcome. Also robbing is going to receive a buff and there will now be more places to rob across the map. Possible new best grinding method can be made using robbing in the next progression update. Now for the main progression, players would be able to level up their character to unlock these new items and features. Every few levels, you'll unlock a new item, cash or a feature that will give you an advantage inside the game. On screen are all of the skills you'd be able to level up in the progression update. Now you might be wondering, is this the end of the video? Well firstly no, and secondly I have some extremely exciting news that might shock you. If it comes true though, you made the right choice sticking around guys. Ty Rage a few months ago said that his main priority is to release the progression and base building. Progression you can understand, but what about base building? Are we going to get a demo version of the building update added so we would be able to create our own bases? My sincere apologies for going straight to that question. Some of you don't even know what the building update is. For clarification, the building update is going to be an update where players would be able to build anywhere in free land and make their own houses and bases similar to Bloxburg, but not that high tech. It was the most awaited update until the devs said no to it and brought the progression to our face. Extreme exposure to the progression might have made you guys forget the building update was even a thing. Also let me share some secret information with you all legends that have watched this video through this point. There is a high chance that boats will be added that will help us fish inside the wild west. Yes, with the progression we may see an introduction to fishing inside the game. It will be a new method to grind money inside the wild west and I'm hyped for it. Now ladies and gentlemen, when the progression update actually drops, I will be making the best quality content on it. So if you wish to watch it first and unlock other items, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be the best decision you take on the Wild West. Also on that note, let's try to reach 2000 likes and I will do a backflip in real life. Source trust me bro, hashtag real. On your screen, there are two legendary videos that you must see before the progression update and Halloween update releases. Now it's your choice to watch whichever one first. Time is ticking.